Hi, Shmai. My name is Rhys Bevan-Jones. I'm a psychiatrist and researcher at the Division of Psychological Medicine and Clinical Neurosciences at Cardiff University. I'd like to let you know about a practitioner review on the co-design of digital mental health technologies with children and young people. This was published recently in a special issue on digital mental health by the Journal of Child Psychology and Psychiatry. It was a collaboration with an international team of researchers in the field and we hope it helps to inform practitioners and researchers interested in the development of digital health technologies. We wrote this because although there's more interest in technologies to help improve the mental health of children and young people, there's concern about the levels of engagement, uptake and adherence. As a way of addressing this, key guidance in the development, evaluation and implementation of technologies stress the importance of early user input. Co-design is a process of active involvement of stakeholders or collective creativity. However, there's a lack of guidance and literature to inform the co-design of digital mental health technologies with children and young people. We reviewed the literature and practice in this field. We completed a systematic search of technologies designed and developed with children and young people. We contacted key authors in the field and extracted key themes on aspects relevant to the practice and processes of co-design. We supplemented this with case studies and methods reported by practitioners and researchers in the field. We identified 25 original articles and 30 digital technologies. These targeted a range of difficulties and nearly all involved adolescents in their development, whilst around one in five involved children. Over half were developed in New Zealand and Australia, and the others in North America, Europe and Asia. Most articles focused primarily on the design or development phase of the technology, rather than the evaluation or implementation phase. And the majority of these were published in recent years. We extracted four key themes from the studies. The first is on the principles of co-design and covers the potential stakeholders involved and the stages of involvement. The second theme is on the collaborative activities and techniques to engage users. The third is on approaches to co-designing and mapping the prototype and the elements to engage the diversity in the user group. Finally, we explored the challenges of co-design, including gaining the resources required, balancing the input of stakeholders and the evaluation of the impact of the process. The case studies in the review are based on Sparks and Quest Tibbet Younger, developed in New Zealand, and Mood Hub, developed in Wales. We also present a checklist for reporting and reviewing co-design activities. So in conclusion, co-design involves children, young people, and all relevant stakeholders, potentially throughout the life and research cycle of the programme. The increase in articles over recent years suggests there's more interest in the development of technologies and the involvement of end users. Future work will need to consider the changing face of technology, methods of engaging the diversity in the user group, and the evaluation of the process and its impact on the technology. We'd like to thank all the children, young people, and other stakeholders who have collaborated with us in our studies. The review is available open access on the JCPP website. Thank you for watching. Diolch